What's up guys, it's Cody here. And today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the top 25 essential jailbreak tweaks that you should download right now once you jailbreak your device on iOS 12.4. Now, if you guys didn't know or you didn't see my last video, iOS 12.4, which is the latest up-to-date, most currently signed firmware for Apple, is jailbreakable. And I walk you through that entire process in my previous video. If you guys wanna jailbreak right now, you can do it by clicking the link in the description below and following that process. Now before we get started, let me know some of the tweaks that you guys download right when you jailbreak your device. What are some of the first tweaks or themes that you guys download and install every time you jailbreak? Let me know, because I want to check those out. And of course, if you guys want this wallpaper, I'll be sure to tweet it out. I'll put a link to the tweet in the description below, so you guys just click on it and download it from there. Also, the theme that I'm using is Muse 4. This is one of those themes that I always download right off the bat, just because it's really nice, it's clean, and it looks really good and just kind of fits my style. But let's go ahead and jump into this list. The first tweaks that I wanna talk about are going to be tweaks that tweak Cydia, the app itself. Just because it makes Cydia a whole lot more useful, a whole lot easier to use, in my opinion, a whole lot more efficient. So the first tweak is called No More Small Apps. So what this does is it makes any application that's smaller full screen on the iPhone 10. So you can see right here, if we go ahead and open up our Cydia, this is now completely full screen. This obviously works on larger devices as well, but if you don't have this installed, you'll sometimes get some weird cropping and it just doesn't look good. But no more small apps is a tweak that you can download. It just makes everything fit nicely. The next tweak that I always install is Flame. Flame allows you to add batch sources to your sources here. So you can see right here that I have a ton of sources here and it's just a pain to add sources one by one. It just doesn't make any sense anymore. So Flame allows you to add batch sources. So if you tap on edit, you tap on add, you get a little uh, pop-up right here that you have normal mode. This is where you would type it in, or you can go to batch mode. And if you have any sources copied to your clipboard, it's gonna automatically populate all those right there. And it's gonna ask you if you wanna add all these sources. So you're probably asking yourself, well, what sources do I want to add? Well, actually I got you covered because I have an entire list of sources that I made. I actually tweeted this out a few months ago, but I dug up the tweet and I have all of my sources right here. So I'll link that in the description below. You literally, all you wanna do is just copy this, just like that, copy it, go back. After you've installed Flame, tap on add, you'll get the batch mode, and then you'll see it's going to ask you if you wanna install all of these uh, sources. Now, it's actually easier to just go ahead and do this, and then if there's some that you don't want, you can just go back and delete a few of the ones that you don't want if you don't want those in your sources. But no question, better than adding them one by one. Next is Swipe for More. This is another really good tweak. You can see right here, let's just go to Changes, and I just have all old tweaks here because I just installed all those sources. But you can see what uh, Swipe for More does is allow you to swipe on tweaks, and you can see this is a paid one, so it's got a little card there, but you can queue it, so add it to your queue to install. You can buy it. You can remove it if it's already in your queue. So we'll just add it to the queue. We'll swipe over. You got a little X. So you don't have to go to the actual tweak page or the theme page. Tap on modify, tap on install, tap on continue queuing, and then tap on changes to go back. You don't have to do that anymore. All you gotta do, swipe over, queue it, and then you're good to go. This one saves a lot of time, especially right when um, you jailbreak your device because you're installing a whole lot of tweaks. Next is Translucent Cydia. So what we're gonna do here is we're just going to reinstall. So you can see there's a couple more uh, instances here for some of the tweaks that I have installed. You can queue it to remove, you can queue it to uh, reinstall, or you can reinstall it right there or uninstall it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reinstall it. We're gonna tap Confirm, and then you're gonna see a nice little blurred out background for the install page for Cydia. Now unfortunately down here, there's a big gap and I'm not sure why that is, but hopefully there'll be an update to actually fix that. So the next tweak we have here is called Coddling. So I'm just gonna refresh uh, my sources here and we should get a reloading data, a uh, little pop-up right here in the middle of the screen that you're gonna see is a nice blurred white or light UI that you can see right there. So that's due to coddling. All right, so those are the Cydia tweaks that I have installed. Next, let's jump into applications and just other miscellaneous tweaks that I have installed here. So the first one is New Term 2. So New Term is a tweak or an app that's going to allow you to access the console 
on your device. So if you just tap on this, you can see you get a terminal right here. And this is really helpful for specific instances when you need to just jump in and just do miscellaneous things or if you just actually need a terminal uh, for whatever reason. Even sometimes if you need to uh, clear your UI cache, then you can do that here. Even sometimes if you need to run you know, like your UI cache command, then you can do that here. Or if you just, you know, you know Linux and you can navigate uh, through here, then you can do so just by typing it in. You even have a little tab here that allow you to uh, tab complete, just like that. So it's a nice terminal application to use if you need it. Next is Filesa. You guys probably know about Filesa if you've used uh, a jailbreak in a long time. This is the new and improved iFile that we used to know and love back in the day. I think iFile is still supported, I'm not quite sure, but Filesa has kind of taken over in that regard, and it's very similar to what the terminal allows you to do, except it has a nice little UI and makes things a whole lot more user-friendly. Anything with the GUIs is uh, a lot more user-friendly. So this is going to give you the entire directory tree of your entire device here that you can go to. You can install uh, specific themes or tweaks manually if you need to, if they're not on specific repos and you gotta like pull it from GitHub or something like that, then you can do that all within Filesa. But also keep in mind that you don't wanna poke around here and delete stuff and change things if you don't know what you're doing because you could screw up your device, you can make things not work and you could possibly end up having to restore your device. Next is iCleaner Pro. iCleaner Pro is one that we've had a long time it's very nice, it's one of those tweaks that you always keep on deck just because it's reliable and it works really well. So all you would do is you would open this up, you would tap on clean, and what this does is go through all your files and it deletes any type of temporary files or anything like that that you don't necessarily need that's taking up a lot of space on your device. So depending on the size of your device, like what storage capacity you have, it's only going to clear up a small or a large amount. So you can see it only cleared up 97 megabytes uh, here, which is fine because I don't really have much on my device right now. I jailbroke my device on a freshly restored phone. So you can see this, these are all the applications that I have. Almost all of them are stock, except for of course the tweaks that I have installed here. Next tweak I wanna talk about is Animations Be Fast. This is a really essential tweak for me because it makes your entire device feel and actually be a whole lot faster in terms of how quick the animations take place. So you can see right here, if we go ahead and open up uh, some of our applications here, you can see how fast they close, how fast they open up, and that's due to uh, animations be fast. Same thing for you know popping up our 3D menus. Everything is just really quick. So you actually have to configure this inside of your settings. So let's just tap on that. You see you enable it right here and then you can customize it. So anything to the right, the more you slide it to the right, the slower the animation is gonna be. If you move it to the left, the faster the animation is gonna be. And you can go through here and just kind of configure this however you'd like. You have folders, screen wake speed, app open and close speed. So if we just made this actually all the way down. Now it says you have to apply it and respring your device, but for the most part, you should be good. So if we go ahead and open this up, there should be no animation whatsoever. Yeah, it's just gonna open right up. So you can go really, really quick. I think it looks pretty good with just a little bit of an animation rather than instantly jumping into the app. Next is Dune. Dune is a free dark mode uh, for iOS. So we'll go down here into the Dune settings profile and we'll tap on enabled. And what this does, you can actually see right here, it's going to darkify your notifications, your 3D touch menus, widgets, your folders, dock, keyboard, all that good stuff. Whatever you have toggled on, it's going to dark it. So if we go ahead and check out my dock down here, you can see that's dark. If we pull down my notifications, you can see all the notifications are dark right here. All my widgets are dark right here. So that's what Dune does, makes everything dark, look nice, and gives that more sleek appearance. Now thankfully in iOS 13, they finally get rid of this ridiculous volume HUD, but we're still on iOS 12.4, and we don't have the pleasure of having that new volume HUD. So Melior is a new tweak. Melior is a tweak that allows you to change that volume HUD to something a whole lot more sleek and look a whole lot better. And most importantly, it's all out of the way. So you can see, you just hit the volume right there and it's gonna populate on the left side in a very small UI 
to raise and lower that volume. Next is Snowboard. And Snowboard is a theming utility that you're gonna to use to install themes on your device. So if we go ahead and go down here to Snowboard, open that up, you can see all you have to do is enable it and then select your theme. So right now all I have is Muse installed, but you can obviously, when you install several of them, then you can just grab this and move them around to prioritize them. And it's really quick when you wanna enable or disable tweaks, so, or themes. So you can see that we just applied that, and if we go out, you can see it's all stock. So let's go back, select our theme, enable it, apply the changes, swipe out, boom, we got Muse 4. It's instant, so I definitely love that. Next is a tweak called Apple File Conduit 2. Now this is one that I'm not gonna showcase, but I am gonna tell you about it just because it's really simple for what it does. It basically allows you to connect your device to your computer and then allow you to access everything on your phone in a nice directory tree, kind of like Filesa, but even more UI friendly. It just looks like a, you know, explorer window to allow you to navigate your device, do those manual installs of themes and tweaks and anything like that. All you would do is download and install Apple File Conduit 2, which I have installed, and then you're going to plug your device into your computer and then download an application like iFunbox and iFunbox will uh, connect to your device and Apple File Conduit 2 will allow you to navigate your device on your computer. Next is CarPlay Lockout. CarPlay Lockout is awesome. If you guys have CarPlay, one of the things that's really annoying every time that I plug in my device when I go to work every morning is that nasty little splash screen that I get of CarPlay where you can't do anything and you have to put your device to sleep and then wake it back up and then you can do stuff. That little CarPlay lock screen, lock screen kind of uh, locks your device up for a few seconds until you turn your device off and turn it back on. So this is gonna get rid of that splash screen altogether. You just plug it in, there's no splash screen, and you can use your device however you'd like. Now something you probably noticed is I don't have a home bar on my device anymore. That's because I think it's useless. I've been using iPhones for a very long time. I know to swipe up and where to swipe up. So I still have the swipe up to open, unfortunately but the home bar is at least gone. So that's that shows up in some applications and everything. So it's nice to have that gone. That's due to a tweak called Buy Home Bottom Bar X. Now you will have to set it up to hide in specific locations. I'm not sure why it just doesn't hide it everywhere. So you can see right here that you have remove the home bar and then I have it remove from the lock screen and notification center. Also disable the home bar blur. And then I have these two options enabled right down here to move them in some of the applications. Once you respring your device, those changes will take effect and you won't have a home bar on your device anymore. Next is a tweak called No Similar. Probably have a pretty good idea of what that does. If you have a device that you have jailbroken and you don't have a SIM card in it, every time you respring or restart your device, you get a notification saying that you don't have a SIM card in your phone. And that is just insanely annoying. So if you download and install No Similar, it's not gonna show that pop up anymore, it's just gonna hide it and suppress it. Next is hide dots. Hide dots gets rid of all the page dots that you see here on your uh, springboard. No more page dots there. Next is bar emoji, and I love this tweak just because it gives me quick access to my recently used emojis, and they're all down right here in the bottom. And that space that's mostly just unused on newer devices, you're gonna see it just makes sense to use that space for something useful like having your emojis down there, your most recent emojis, and you just tap on it, and it's gonna input it right there. Now, one of the other things you can do, if you don't wanna put it down here in the bottom, you can actually put it up here where your predictive text is. You just enable that, you just enable that in the settings however you'd like, and one of the benefits of having them up here in the top where the predictive text is, is you don't accidentally hit them when you're trying to hit that space bar. Sometimes I do that, it's kind of annoying, but it's still nicer than having to go to the keyboard finding it and then typing it in because I can just tap it right straight from the keyboard. Next is call dismiss. And I don't have anybody to call me right now, but it's really simple what call dismiss does is, I mean, usually when you get a phone call, it takes up your entire screen. All you have is to answer or decline it. You can silence it by hitting this button, but you can't get rid of the screen. And call dismiss allows you to do that. On the iPhone 10. all you have to do is swipe up. It puts that phone call in the background and continues to ring and go to your voicemail while you continue to do whatever you were doing on your device. Of course, if you're on an older device that has a home button, you just press the home button. That's what dismisses it rather than having to swipe up. Next up is nude keys. So what nude keys does is if we go to our keyboard here, 
you can see there's buttons around each of the letters on the keyboard. Nude Keys gets rid of those buttons and makes everything nice and smooth and flat. So we're gonna respring it and it's probably gonna be a lighter color just because I didn't change the color on it. But you can see what Nude Keys does. It just makes everything flat and look a lot better in my opinion. And you should be able to change the color on it as well. It doesn't have to be white. Next up is a tweak called Auto Unlock X. So what this tweet does is automatically unlock your device when you wake it up if you don't have any notifications on your home screen. So it's really simple. If we just go to the home screen here and we tap on the home screen, you can see it just automatically unlocks. I didn't have to swipe up or anything like that. And a tweak functionality that I always have to have is the ability to swipe down on my settings to respring my device. I love having the ability to respring my device straight from the settings because that's usually where I have to do it. And having the ability to swipe down to respring makes things a whole lot simpler. Now this is a tweak called drag spring. There's a lot of tweaks that actually do this same feature, but the one that I downloaded this time is called drag spring. Now the next tweak I'm gonna show you here is called low power mode. And there's not a whole lot to this tweak, but if you're having any issues with your battery and it's just dying way too bad, then low power mode is gonna be a good one to have. And what it does is keep low power mode on your device at all times. You can see right here, the first time that you respring your device, you're gonna get a little pop-up notification saying mail fetch, background app refresh, automatic downloads, and some visual effects are reduced or disabled in low battery mode or low power mode. But again, keep in mind, there's no options to configure. This is going to keep your device in low power mode at all times. All right, guys, that's all I got for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button. And of course, if you guys want to stay up to date with everything that I push on YouTube, then make sure you turn on those bell notifications and I'll see you in the next video. All right, guys.